How's it going, folks? Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic on the Sith Warrior. Uh, we're in Runok. Runok. We do have a new quest. For the Alliance right here. Which I imagine will progress. Our story, but I wanted to check this out. After a vicious battle, Hetakol has fred, fled, fred, fled from Ranok. Ranok. But many of her forces and resources remain on the desolate planet. Check the mission board to help with the Mandalorian's cleanup efforts. Hey there. Always an honor when I can get some time from someone as busy as you. I'm glad we got in touch, cause I got a favor to ask. What is it? With Hedda Cole on the run again, it's all hands on deck. That means I've got to go where Mandalore wants me. Otherwise, I'd handle this myself. My friend Lane is back on Runic. Mandalore's got her chasing down all the hidden chain riffraff that stayed behind. You and I both know that getting anything done on that dust ball is a challenge, and Lane doesn't have a lot of resources. But Lane would never ask for help, especially from someone like you. She's about as stubborn as Mandalore. <laughs> Must run in their family. In fact, she'll probably kill me for asking you to back her up, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. So, what do you say? How do you feel about cleaning up some of Hedda's garbage? I won't turn down an opportunity to hunt down Hedda Cole's minions. That's what I'm talking about. One more thing. Last time I was on Lane's bad side, she put adhesive spray in my jetpack's exhaust veins. Took me weeks to get it out. What I'm saying is, it'd be great if you didn't tell Lane it was me who sent you. Anyway, I appreciate you hearing me out on this. See you around. Ras Auto. Alright, let's go speak with Lane. Huh? Look who it is. Shouldn't you be off with Shay, planning her next move against the traitor? Well, that can be arranged, if you would like me to leave. Not what I was trying to get across. Just surprised, is all. Shay stuck me with cleanup duty. Thought you might be above that. You're pretty chummy with my cousin. She tell you what I'm doing? Shay is your cousin? Distant cousin. Not that it matters. I don't want people thinking I do things in half measures. Or get special treatment, just because Mandalore and I share blood. Uh, look, I'm not here to diminish how people think of you. You were hunting the remainder of Hedda Cole's soldiers. Yeah, that's the short of it. The showdown between Shay and Hedda got pretty chaotic. When it was over, a lot of the hidden chain dogs ran off after their master. Shay and the Arbiter, mostly the Arbiter, withdrew all of our people from Runic too. Then, we got word that some of Hedda's soldiers stuck around. They're not big enough for an army, but there's enough that they could clear the way for Hedda to come back. My job is to keep that from happening. But I don't want to just round up some traitors and be done with it. We've been watching them. They're looking for something. I want to find out what it is. What could they possibly find? The world is a wasteland? Your guess is as good as mine. Don't know why the traitors picked this rock in the first place. Can't imagine there'd be much left that we haven't blown to bits. But that's what I want you to look into for me. I've got a couple of places I want you to sweep. Look for schematics, data readouts, anything that can tell me why they came here and why they've stayed. I've got to stay back. I'm working on something that I can't get away from. But something tells me that's not going to make much of a difference. Once you've got enough information to start putting the pieces together, let me know. Lean Vizsla. Most people outside of Mandalore, the Avengers inner circle, assume that the lives of those closest to her are filled with many tales of valor and triumph. The opposite holds true for Shay Vizsla's youngest relative, Lane Vizsla. Lane was a child when Shay led Clan Vizsla to Tracen Island on Rishi, settling away from the backhanded politics so prevalent during the Galactic Republic and Sith Empire's Cold War. On Clan Vizsla's isolated compound, Lane spent her formative years teaching herself to repair and enhance the various machines the Vizslas used for training. State-of-the-art droids, elemental force fields, combat gadgets, deadly weapons, and tools for training our beasts. Clan Vizsla's time on Tracen Island gave Lane a first-hand experience of her cousin's indifference toward war, a view that did not change as the Mandalorian's leader fought 
to survive the invasion of the Eternal Empire. Despite Lin's skepticism about Shay's ability to lead their people, she recognizes that her cousin is the rightful Mandalor. Anyone who claims otherwise threatens to tear apart the Mando Aid. And that is Shay. Shay Shay. I mean Lane. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. She's right there. Okay, so... Recover a hidden chain access card. Get down all this. Couple of hops, couple of jumps, whoop. We'll get out of here. Oh, we got an exploration mission, here we go. Relic Hunt Prototype Missiles. Attention all forces, Relic Recovery Efforts. We've sent the Ashard and the rest of the Hidden Chain scrambling, but we can do better. Those traitors can't help but bring their favorite relics with them wherever they go, so now's our chance to reclaim some pieces of our history. A word of warning, this isn't your typical mission. We have very little to go on to find these relics, and you'll have to do a lot of legwork yourself. If you think you're up to it, read on. I've been searching through manifest data and turned up some leads. Anyone assisting in the recovery of these relics will be permitted to use them while they're stationed on Rana Runok. First up, a prototype missile attachment developed hundreds of years ago by Grez Denko, a storied Mandalorian engineer whose adult brain descendants ran off with the Ashard. The missile attachment is likely still functional, but it's one of his earlier and less reliable pieces. It was brought... It was brought by a Runok, to Runok, by someone from the Denko line, but that's all I've got. Maybe one of his clan members has info about his last known location. Good luck out there. Tasks. Search for information on Kaz Denko. Intel defeat the members of the Ashard. Right, I'll take it. Buddy. Destination? Send us out there. Enjoy your stay. I will. Will I? <laughs> I don't know. Don't know if I'll enjoy my stay. Where's the uh the glow of the engines at the back here? We in some sort of glider form. Go through this treacherous canyon. Right. Okay, so that's where that is. And we've got to look out for members of the Ashard. I guess they're just all over the place. Perhaps we'll run into a few down here. Let's, uh, let's get somebody out. Lana Benico, you wanna... Actually, get somebody else out. T7. Kaleo. Galt Renal. What else we got? Jakaro. Let's get Kira Carson out. Let's go. She is an adventurous Jedi. Ready? Ready? Let's go. There. Choke. Choke, damn you.
temper, steal debris. A shard right there. Another shot over there. The access card. Uh, it contains an access key to hidden chain infrastructure terminals. Using this, decrypt more data. So, was someone actually just back here? I think it's either here or it's on the other side. It is here indeed. It's number two. Third one over there, and a fourth one all the way back there. Chain Commander requires champion standing. I've got a few of these things actually, which uh, but they require different things like outsider and newcomer with specialists and all this stuff. But I can't use it. I have to go like back to Manan or something. Would do some dailies and work on some reputation there. This machinery here reminds me of Red Faction. Anybody play that game? Remember going down into tunnels, caverns underground, in Red Faction that is, and you were able to burrow through the walls and a little bit different. First person shooter though. Okay, so that's all done. So I have defeated a fair, like a couple of shard, imagine just that. RNG, the RNG's not with me at this point in time. And 
We said that earlier. There was only a handful of a shard that I took down. Alright, so we gotta go and access the main control. So the way back here. Chance to fight another shard. Shard there. Let's bypass him. Although, this. <laughs> probably would have preferred to bypass these two. Oh, we're not even on the right side. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I guess we're taking you down after all. So, we gotta go all the way out this way. Out or out. Sneak past this group. Even though there was two a shard there. Alright, this way. Here we go. Rush, Arla, you've got us tearing up water stations and power conduits left and right. Now you want us to fix them? Shut up, someone's here. Step forward, whoever you are. So impressive <laughs> weaponry. Shay's pet. What are you doing back here? Get lost on your way home? Oya Elite. Let's bring Kerr a trophy he'll never forget. What? There, good as new. Uh, where is she? <laughs> Where's Kira? The heck is Kira? Oh, there she is, all right. I mean, it looked like she was doing a job. I wasn't taking any damage, but... I mean, my health was just good on 100% there, but still. Just wonder if she's gonna get... Get a bit of CC on her. What? 
I guess that gets triggered if you like just a couple a step away from it as well. So I wish I could force push right now. Not that it probably wouldn't affect her, but still it'd be fun to see if it did. by the hand of Shay Fizzler's lapdog. Are you sure about that? Several data files are stored in this terminal, including fragmented records of a mining company's activities in Ruinok. Many of the records are corrupted, but some fragments can be accessed. What would you like to view? Open the mining productivity report. Year 1 and output 500 shipments of calcite, 300 shipments of derillium. Earnings 272% over expectation. Year 2 output 40 shipments of calcite, 12 shipments of derillium. Earnings 63% below expectation. Year 3 output, data file not found. <laughs> Returning. Okay, come on. Open the uh, infrastructure and network status. Operable water purification de depots, 2. Power stations, 1. All other sites are currently offline. Terminal power capacity critical. System shutdown is imminent. Use terminal shutdown in op operable infrastructure sites used by hidden chain forces. Kablama. Return to Lane Vizsla. Read the little story before we hand in. After dealing with the hidden chain forces in the rundown waterworks of Runok, you recovered a trove of infrastructure data from the water treatment plant. Return to Lane Vizsla. Give her the infrastructure data. For a high price. Let's get rid of all this. I reckon this is worth it. Should I, should I hang on to this? Should I actually try to get some of this reputation? Um, oh, you only took me out here. Hang on a second. That's not where I wanted to go. Destination. Enjoy your stay. Why don't you show me the actual place I need to go? Gotta love that fast travel. Mandalore wants this place cleaned out. Pick up the pace. Down in the ducts. That was quick. I guess strength in the force and all that makes any job easy. 
Well, my connection to the Force is a gift, not a crutch. You don't need to convince me or anything. The work got done. That's all that matters. I've always said that Shay's biggest strength is the people she surrounds herself with. You continue to prove me right. Let's see what you found out there. Looks like the Hidden Chain built their infrastructure on the back of an old mining operation. A really unlucky mining operation. Hedda had everything she could ever need already waiting for her. Water, power generators, digging equipment. But it looks like you took out the last of it. Would have been nice for us. But hey, at least we know the traders can't use it again. Find anything else interesting? I wager the traders you took all of this from didn't go down quietly. They mentioned someone named Kerr, that he was waiting on them to finish their work. No, you must have heard wrong. Harchek, at least now we know who drew the short straw when Hedda asked people to stay behind. Sounds like the stragglers are Clan Harangir. Shay mentioned them before. I can't say I'm impressed. They're old money, with an even older name. Clan Harangir claims they're descended from Cad Harangir, an old Mandalorian god of destruction. Decades of that kind of notoriety, power, and credits have given them quite the inflated self-image. They consider it an insult if you don't recognize their prestigious history. They consider it a threat if you don't give them the respect they demand. Must be why they switched sides. Shay didn't kiss their boots like the other clan leaders did. No wonder Shay's having such a hard time. Shay's never been one to coddle such fragile personalities. It was only a matter of time before some of the more... entitled clans went the way of the Hidden Chain. But I still don't understand why Clan Harangir would agree to cleaning up Hedda's mess. They'd think an order like that was below them. No, they must be after something else. Something Hedda might not even know about. There's a particular area they've been circling for a while, full of Derillium deposits. Maybe that's where their prize is. You check there, and I'll keep looking through the data files you brought me, see if there's something I'm missing. By the time you come back, I'll have more of this figured out. Hopefully.